Hey, Gene Nation, it's your favorite nurse, Jasmine, and I'm back today with another video. So today's video is actually going to be my non-traditional nursing journey. So for those of you guys who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jasmine. I am currently a registered nurse. I have been a ICU nurse since I graduated nursing school. I've been a nurse for about four years, and I am currently about to start my second year of my nurse practitioner program. So I'm currently a grad student. Welcome. I hope that you will join the fam hit subscribe it's absolutely free as well as turn on the notification button so that way you never miss any of my nursing content so for those of you guys who've been rocking me for a while you probably heard this story here and there in different videos however i felt like it would be important to just put this in one video i took a poll over on instagram and you guys seem to want it so that way i can reference this video when anyone has questions on basically what my journey was about so that way i don't have to keep responding in comments because it's a lot and then I don't want you guys to feel like I'm ignoring you. So this is helping both me and you out. So if you're interested in my non-traditional nursing journey, just continue to watch. First things first, when I graduated high school, I knew I wanted to be a nurse. I just didn't know how I was going to go about doing it. And honestly, I simply didn't want to go to college. My plans at the time was to join the military. That actually fell through and um, I was like, okay, I got to do something. So I became a medical assistant. If you have any questions about me being a medical assistant, I did a whole video on it. So I'll link it in the cards. Wait, I think the cards are up here. I'll link it in the cards and I'll also have that video down in the description box as well. So after becoming a medical assistant, I decided, you know, this doesn't pay me enough money. And <laughs> basically I was paying more uh, then half of my check was going to daycare. So I was like, you know, this isn't really worth it. I have to figure out how to go to school. So while I was in Germany, because that was our first duty station, once we I left home, it was my husband's second duty station, but my first duty station with him, I found University of Maryland University College, which was available overseas and I was able to do some of my prereqs online so there was a lot of stuff that I couldn't do but I tried to take advantage of all the classes that I could do online at the time and that's how I was introduced to the world of online learning and I'm so thankful for that because <laughs> most of my journey has been online so I did a good chunk of my prereqs there however there was things that I couldn't take like um, anatomy and physiology with lab chemistry with lab um, I was able to do microbiology with lab online and basically my whole kitchen table looked like a freaking science project so there were some classes that I could do and I couldn't do I tried to get as many classes done when I was in Germany as I could and then once our time was up in Germany we moved to Virginia I went to Thomas Nelson Community College and tried to knock out as many classes there as I could as well and I was still working as a medical assistant so I was doing like one class at a time because I was working full-time Monday through Friday and I was doing public speaking which I dreaded and I also did anatomy and AMP1 and I did some other classes. I was only in Fort Eustis for 16 months maybe and my husband got orders to San Antonio so we ended up going to San Antonio which was the biggest blessing ever and um absolutely fell in love with it end up going to san antonio community college to finish up the last like two prerequisites i had which was anatomy and physiology too and college algebra oh that was such a pain in my ass i knew it was a math class i just had to think about what it was because i ended up doing statistics online when i got into the nursing program so but anyways i applied to two associate nursing programs so there are four-year colleges, universities, where you can go straight in and do your prereqs all the way through your BSN and you graduate with your BSN. For those who are like me and you want to get your nursing, you want to get your license within two years and you move a lot, you don't know where you're going to live within the next couple of years. So I felt like the associates program was going to be the best option for me. At the end of the day, I still sat for eclipse and I still got my license. So I was like, well, I'm still a registered nurse. So let me just see if I can get into a two year program. So that way, once I was done, I would actually supposed to have six months until we went to a new duty station. So I was I was trying to time it according to our plans, like our moving our PCS schedule. So I applied to two programs. The first program was San Antonio College, which was the community college that I went to and it was cheap. Okay, so I did a lot of my prerequisites through community colleges because they were cheap versus I could pay $300 
for a class versus this, like this summer in my graduate program, I spent $1,500 on a three credit class. So that tells you kind of the price difference. $300. $1,500. So if you have the chance to go to college in a lot of the classes you have to pay out of pocket, or if you do have to do student loans and you want to do it where you take out the least amount as possible, look into community college versus going straight into a four-year university. Even if you're in-state, the price is still going to be very, very expensive. So I was trying to, you know, do the best with what I had and I applied to SEC and then once I applied to SEC I also applied to Baptist School of Health Professions which is a Baptist based private school um, which offered an associates and it was very expensive <laughs> it was more expensive than a community college because it was private so I ended up getting accepted into pro both programs and instead of going to SAC, I chose to go to Baptist because the program structure was just a lot better. The clinical aspect was a lot better. They got a lot more clinical hours. I know that personally, I learned better doing hands-on. If you show me how to do it and let me do it and then correct me on anything that I did wrong, I can guarantee you the next time I'm going to know how to do it myself. So I am more of a hands-on learner than just a visual sitting in class learning through lectures. So I chose to go to Baptist because of that aspect and honestly it was the best decision that I ever made. Yes, it cost me way more money to go to Baptist for the same degree that I would have got at SEC, but I can tell you that my experience was a lot better and I came out a stronger nursing new grad than um, San Antonio College students did and I'm just being honest because I've seen both of them I've actually worked with both of them and precept both of them so it's not about being cocky it's just about facts so once I got accepted into BSHP that was a two-year program now none of that stuff was online it's the first school that I went to completely at campus now when I went to SAC there were some classes that I could do online and then there were some classes that I had to go into class and do like a uh, chemistry lab and chemistry class which was horrible uh, as well as um, my anatomy lab and things like that but for all the rest of the stuff like all of my history courses art appreciation uh, all of my English courses, everything else I did 100% online and I actually prefer being an online student than to be in class unless it is a lab, unless it is something that I need to be hands on for. BSHP was a two year program and we did a lot of clinical hours, like a lot, <laughs> like 12 hours a lot and I was just like bro I'm not getting paid for this, like uh and that's how I feel right now in my master's program, like why am I not getting paid for this? But you don't get paid for clinicals <laughs> I wish we did like maybe like minimum wage okay maybe not minimum wage maybe like five dollars an hour like I'm still there for 12 hours give me something <laughs> after I finished BSHP I passed NCLEX the first try with 76 questions I have a horrendous video somewhere in my playlist of uh, me reacting to my NCLEX results it is so cringy <laughs> But hey, it's it's just, it's what I experienced at that time. And also, um, I got hired in the ICU where I did my last clinical rotation at. So I tried to stress to you guys to make the best appearance during clinicals that you can because you never know who's watching you and what job opportunities might be available for you just based off of your um, performance during clinicals. So um, I started working in the ICU immediately after graduation and literally I graduated in May and June 1st was my official start date. So it was really, really quick. I got like no break, <laughs> which I low key regret at this time. But yeah, I got no break. I went right into it. After a year of just working as a new grad, I was like, okay, it is time for me to go back for my bachelor's. So I decided to go back for my bachelor's because I knew we were going to move. Um, at this time, we had slid under the radar and we ended up staying in San Antonio for a total of four years, four or five four years no five years and um I was like okay eventually we're gonna get on somebody's radar they're gonna make us move and I need to have my bachelor's because there's a lot of hospitals now that want their nurses to have their bachelor's because they want to be magnet status they get paid more money for that and even if you have an associate I've never had a problem getting my job with an associate they sometimes you just have to sign a contract saying within a certain amount of years you will have your bachelor so for those of you guys who have to go the associates route don't worry you'll be able to find a job I personally never interacted with anyone who has an associate's degree and they passed in class and 
have not been able to get a job so there's that spill i decided to go to uta so i stand for uta like if anybody asks me jasmine what program would you suggest for your rn to be a sin or how do you feel about uta i always highly recommend uta i love the way that the program is structured i love the way that the classes are um like every class is structured the same way so when you move from class to class a lot of stuff is not going to change it's like all of the professors are on the same page and i like that i personally like it and all of the classes are eight weeks long and or were they six no they were eight weeks you can finish as quick as nine months and you can take up to three years to get it completed it took me a year to get my um rn to bsn just because i was being lazy and i was doing one class at a time at one point and then once we got orders to move to new york i was like okay let's double up these classes and hurry up and get it over um over with the whole program in its entirety is only 10 grand and i know for those of you who are probably not in nursing yet you're like oh my god that's a lot of money in all actuality that is probably one of the cheapest programs that i have researched now are there probably other programs that are RN to BSN that are a lot cheaper probably but as far as what I have found I will say that UTA is the most affordable. I absolutely love UTA and highly recommend it for anyone out there who is looking for a program that you can do 100% online and um, you're looking to do your RN to BSN. So that is how I came about getting my bachelor's. It took me about six years to do it but <laughs> instead of the typical four but it was basically on my terms and at my pace and on my budget so the route that i did was a lot more budget friendly but yes it did take me a little longer so if you're a military spouse out there and you are in the same circumstance that i am in this is a great route to take or if you are just out there just a regular civilian no military ties and you want to go more affordable route um that's what i did too now if you're out there getting scholarships and you got parents that'll pay for school this does not pertain to you you can go to whatever school you choose to because money is no object but when it comes to practicality and financial status i would definitely say that there are other options that you can take which is why i'm sharing my journey so i am currently in a hybrid program um, a hybrid master's program that half of it is online and some of it is actually on campus and i also have my clinical hours that i have to do i'm currently not sharing the name of my college nor do i know 100 percent sure if i will share what school i went to once i am finished um and that is just for personal protection people on the internet are savages let me just say so just until i graduate maybe after i graduate i'll share that with you guys but until then um just know that it's in new york <laughs> there you go there you have it so yeah that is pretty much what is going on with me right now and i am one year shy of being a nurse practitioner and being completely done with school and honestly guys i cannot wait because i feel like i've been in school for a very long time i'm like at this rate i could have become a doctor you know what i'm saying i could have been dr g <laughs> I'm, honestly I, I could have been Dr. G as long as it's taking me to get my freaking master's so at the end of the day I just wanted to share with you guys that just because your journey is different than someone else's doesn't make your journey any less traveled once we become nurses we are nurses and that is not something that anyone can take from you you always will have that degree and just because someone went for a four-year college doesn't mean that the fact that you went through a community college or a private two-year associates program does not make your degree or your license any less than at the end of the day it all says nurse on our badge so if you have any specific comments questions or concerns that i did not address in this video please feel free to leave it down below in the comment section and i'll respond to each and every one of you sweethearts as well as to follow me over on the gram because yeah my ig stories be lit i really need to step up my instagram game but that's 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 another story and before you leave make sure that you subscribe it's absolutely free as well as hit the notification button so that way youtube will notify you every single time i post a video and yeah that is pretty much it for me guys until the next video don't forget to stay boss up and conquer